Back. Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us now tonight to talk more about the pandemic response here in Hamilton. And Mayor, many in the community have been asking about the vaccine rollout, wondering why Hamilton wasn't prioritized. Have you received any information about this from the province directly? No, thank you, Nicole, for having me on, firstly, and uh, Happy New Year. I don't think we've seen each other since, but uh, if we have, I apologize. No, we have uh, not, so no, Happy we... New Year to you, too. Thank you. Uh, we have not uh, we have not got any additional information from the province other than what they put out originally, which was that Toronto, Peel, York and Windsor, Essex were the first to get the Moderna uh, product uh, earlier as a result of them being in lockdown earlier. But we continue to advocate for, you know, additional resources to be brought to Hamilton. And, and the good news is that uh, we are continuing on with an enhanced program to not only deal with the long term care employees, which uh, many we've already done but also move into uh, long-term care residents uh, starting as of today with uh, with the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah, sadly, 200 people have now died in Hamilton due to COVID-19, many in long-term care. How will the city hold these homes accountable? Uh, we have been uh, right from the very beginning working with long-term care homes uh, to ensure that they have the uh, proper support, that they have the uh, right infec infection control practices in place. Uh, they have all the resources they need. Uh, as you know, they're, they're overseen by the province of Ontario in terms of uh, legislation and authority. And public health has been uh, there every step of the way to ensure that they have the right resources to get those cases under control. Unfortunately, and uh, you know, this has been the, right from the very beginning, congregate settings, whether they be residential uh, care homes or long-term care facilities, once it's in there, it's very, very difficult to manage because it spreads very quickly. And, uh, you know, we have a strain possibly out there now that spreads even more quickly. Even with some of the oversight and looking at infection control measures and PPE, some of these homes, the outbreaks spread even further. But to ensure this never happens again, is there anything you can do as mayor to advocate for these families? Uh, well, I mean, the, the best thing that we can do right now that everyone can do is to stop the spread of this virus. So clearly, uh, you know, it, it gets in there somehow, uh, predominantly uh, likely from someone that uh, is employed that uh, brings it in from the outside or a resident that's coming in for a visit that has contracted this virus and then is bringing it into the long-term care facility. So we need to continue to practice the, uh, the, the safe health recommendations that are out there, even if you're vaccinated. For families who still do have loved ones in long-term care homes here in Hamilton, what does this new mobile vaccination unit symbolize and how will it improve the situation here? Well, it'll, it'll uh, stop the outbreaks. Uh, so if we can get all the residents vaccinated, then uh, obviously their health will be protected and, uh, and you know, any future outbreaks can be, uh, be uh, you know, minimized. We still have to be wary of ensuring that, uh, you know, the kind of proper control measures that I just spoke about are still in place. And, uh, you know, the potential for someone bringing in the virus is still there. And that virus can still exist on someone that may not get sick, but could still be a carrier. And so there's still a potential for additional spread, but it's going to make the situation in long term care homes much safer. And certainly will take a lot of the anxiety away from the concerns that we've already seen. And, you know, hopefully we can minimize or, or eliminate the amount of death that we've seen as a result of this. And you know what? One death is too many. 200 is just unacceptable and uh, we need to do everything possible as a community to keep the spread of this virus down so that we can keep that death count down and keep everyone safe. Mayor Eisenberger, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you, Nicole.